Now that you've got some basic finger style technique down for your thumb, I'm gonna need to go through kind of the same crucible or process for your first, second, and third fingers. Now, when you see uh, finger designations in sheet music for finger style guitar, I is gonna be your index finger, M will be your middle finger, and A will be your ring finger. Just keep that in mind as we go through these. I made another uh, technique checklist for you. Here is the finger technique checklist. We'll go through this quickly and then we'll go through it in more detail as we develop your finger style technique for your fingers. Here you go. Number one, stay relaxed. Same thing here, right? Uh, number two, start with a neutral arm posture. Nothing new for you. Number three, don't kink your wrist too far one way or the other. Number four, don't bend your wrist too far one way or the other. Number five, gently pick the string by flexing your finger uh, into the palm of your hand. And number six, most of the motion should come from your second and third knuckles. Let's break this apart a little bit more and go through each one of these tips and kind of apply it with just using our index finger on the G string here. So again, stay relaxed. If you feel any tension creeping in, you know, just take a time out, take five seconds, really relax, take a deep breath and start over. Number two, start with a neutral arm position. Nothing different from the thumb technique that we went over in the last couple of lessons. So neutral arm position. Number three, don't kink your wrist too far one way or the other. Number four, don't bend your wrist too far one way or the other. Again, this doesn't necessarily apply to the anchored, you know, where you have to kink your wrist down here to apply it or anchor it to the top of the guitar, but don't kink it too far one way or the other. If you start to get fatigued or tired, you know you're doing something like that. So keep a really relaxed, neutral position. And here are the ones that get to be a little bit different specifically for your finger. Number five, pick the string gently by, by flexing your finger into the palm of your hand. And when I do that, I just mean like, take your hand off the guitar and just, you know, bring your finger into the palm of your hand. And this kind of goes right hand in hand with number six. Most of the motion should be coming from your second and third knuckles, these two right here. Like this knuckle right here really isn't moving at all. It's just putting enough resistance to actually play through the string. And most of the motion is coming from these two knuckles bending in or pulling into the palm of my hand. So that's the basic technique you want to look at for your fingers. And you can try this with all three fingers. We'll get into that more later. But for now, just concentrate on your index finger. And my skin of my finger is hitting the string right before the nail, just the very tip. And if you don't have nails, just use the tip, you know, the skin on your finger. I'll give you a little bit different view on that. The idea here is to just keep repeating this motion over and over again with these tips and minds until it starts to feel really natural. And everybody's you know, body is built differently, so everybody's technique will be a little bit different. But certainly staying relaxed and you know, taking all these tips with a grain of salt and developing your own technique is going to be important. The main thing is to relax. You're gonna to need to do that for your index finger, but you're also gonna to need to do it for your second and third fingers too. So you'll see an M for the next exercise on all the notes on the B string. So take your middle finger, same thing. And you'll see, like you'll notice that when I use my middle finger, my other fingers kind of move sympathetically. This is kind of normal. As you go down the line, that happens more and more. So on index finger, I can do this on its own and go as slow as you need to. We're not even gonna worry about our metronome for this. We're just programming in technique. And then for the middle finger, so my third finger and first finger kind of moving sympathetically along with it. And one thing that helps is leaving that thumb in the low E string so I can know exactly where I am if I'm using the classical technique or if I'm using uh, the folk technique, planting, my pinky up there will also help keep things pretty stable. And get that finger out of the way so you can see what's going on. Okay. Third finger on the high E string. This is gonna be the most awkward of the three fingers because this, like the tendons in this finger 
are like attached to the other fingers in your hand, so all your fingers kind of move sympathetically when you're trying to move this one. You don't believe me? Try and move this finger with, without moving your other fingers. It's just tough. And it's also kind of the least coordinated of the three fingers, so this is going to be a little bit tougher. You may have to put a little bit of extra time in here, but go through the same thing. So set your finger up on the high E string, and this will be A, labeled A as far as, you know, the labeling system for fingers. And just pull that in to the palm of your hand. Same exact technique tips. Whether you're using folk, which is tough for me for this. I usually resort to classical. Or if I'm using a thumb pick with the anchored, it ends up looking like this. Just go as slow as you need to, skin hitting the string right before the nail if you're using nails, if not just the very tip of your finger. And again, this is the hardest one to get control over. This is a great warm up to do every day. This and the thumb exercises we went over as well. School. And we'll get into some more exercises to develop this, your fingers, in the next lesson. But for now, all you really want to do is just go as slow as you need to, to really work on applying all the tips. Relaxing, not kinking your wrist too far one way or bending it too far one way, and then pulling in to the palm of your hand. Staying relaxed, just the tip of your finger. Okay, here are your assignments for this lesson. Number one, read through the finger technique checklist several times. Number two, apply all of the technique tips to your first finger. Number three, apply all the technique tips to your second finger. And number four, apply all the technique tips to your third finger. Take your time with this and realize, again, that we're going through building the same exact foundation that we did with your thumb. We're just doing it for your fingers now. When you feel really confident with this and you feel like you have your basic technique programmed in, you can move on to the next lesson. Again, if you have any questions, send me an email, support at guitarfan.com, or schedule a complimentary first private lesson with me on the site. I'll see you there. Bye.